so many patterns this is ridiculous okay for someone who doesn't enjoy making or wearing trousers i sure do have a lot of trouser patterns oh <laughs> How did this even happen? Yeah, I'm gonna go through these patterns and I am going to be ruthless with myself because I clearly enjoy buying trouser patterns. I just don't overly like making them. I've even got them separated, another couple of piles here. One is shorts and one is jeans. <sighs> I might have some issues. So the reason I'm doing these videos is I went through my pattern collections I think in 2017, 2016, 2017 and you guys seem to really enjoy those videos so I thought I would do an update. I store my patterns differently now. I Rather than put them, putting them into companies I now put them into categories and then within companies within those categories. Today we're doing trousers. I was going to do jumpsuits and trousers together but I have a giant selection of jumpsuits as well. <laughs> I might have some issues. I also have dirty glasses. Two sacks. So, oh, no, that didn't work. Better. So this is going to be a way longer video than I intended it to be and that I even thought it would be, but I would like to catalogue what I've got and, as I say, be ruthless with myself about whether I am going to make these things or not. Just to also let you know, one of my projects that scares me for the year is trousers. I am going to dedicate an entire month to trousers. I have an entire cubbyhole of fabric in here, which I am going to turn into trousers, except for the print at the bottom and the print there. I am going to use those to make pinafore dresses because I have learnt something about myself I don't enjoy wearing pattern on my bottom bottom half so yeah let's let's be ruthless because this pile of paper patterns is not even all of it I do have PDF patterns as well and there's a fair bunch of trousers in there too so let's stop waffling get on with the actual cataloging of these patterns first up is the McCall's 8045 and I have it in both size bundles now I think that I will need both size bundles because I'll need one for the waist and one for the hips I really like the yoke on these I like how they are kind of like pegged towards the bottom and having looked at that video back it was really interesting having you guys talk about the jeans and which ones you thought looked good and which ones you didn't some of you preferred the skinny over the the boot cut ones or the flared ones and some of you preferred the flared ones over the skinny ones personally I preferred the skinny jeans and looking at myself in those boot cut ones and like I say I filmed an entire video with just those boot cut jeans on and I really don't like how I look and I think it's one of those things that it's just I'm so used to seeing the skinnier part of my leg and having that kind of disguised in all that fabric I don't think I like it as much as I thought I would. Watching myself in the Deer and Doe Sirocco's, I really like the trouser portion of those and how pegged they are and how skinny they are around the bottom of my leg. Now, not everyone's gonna agree with me on that. Not everyone's gonna say that that's, that shape flatters me, but it's the shape that I like on myself and that I feel best in. Having said that, I am wearing my wide-legged beach pyjamas today, which is one of the jumpsuits that I've kept, and I love how this looks, and this is very floaty and wide-legged at the bottom, but it also goes very narrow at the waist. I don't know, I just don't know what it is about me and trousers and jeans and stuff like that, but I think I prefer the skinny fit over the bootcut fit. And I think I'm going to return the boot cut fit if I can. So anyway, the 8045 are very pegged. I like the yoke at the front. I like that they button fly. And that's why I've bought both size bundles of this. Because I do, I think, I can see myself making these. I do think they're awesome. I will at some point get over my fear. Because I have, like I say, an entire month going to be dedicated to making trousers. Having said all that, this is the McCall's 8007. These are absolutely awesome. I have seen somebody else make them. I did feature them in a Get the Look for Less. I want to love these. I know, having just said everything that I've said, if I make these up, I will not like me in these. So these are going to go. Next, we've got the Closet Core Jenny overalls and trousers. I think... I will like these. I bought them for the trouser version. I don't think I will ever make the overall version in all honesty. I, 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 th from the ones that I've seen on other people, I really, really like them. I bought this from the So Southampton meetup. I was trying to buy something from every stand. And this was what I bought from the Eternal Maker. I do, I do think I'm gonna like these. I'm not prepared to get rid of them yet. I have the ginger jeans and the Morgan jeans. <laughs> Nia's borrowed those. It says Shans do not cut at do not cut. I want to like both of these. 
I think I will like these more than I like the flared leg ones because they are boyfriend fit jeans so whilst they're not super skinny they're also not flared so I'm gonna keep both of these and at some point I've even bought the jeans making book from closet pork core patterns at some point I will make those and these are the most me pattern that I have I actually have bought two pieces of fabric to make these and it's leather look fabric this needs very stretchy fabric it needs to be 20 to 30 percent crosswise stretch I want to try these I think these will be the most me jeans out of all of the ones that I've shown you today so these ones are staying as well now all I need to do is just pluck up the courage and learn to make jeans and I will at some point I also have two shorts patterns I hate my legs and I never wear shorts why do I have these I don't know I do have a bit of a thing about deer and doe patterns I did go through a stage of me wanting to own every single one of them I've cured myself of that it was the same with the Megan Nielsen ones oh please don't judge me but I did have these in the original original packaging and when they brought out the new packaging I bought the new pack I I know I know I know it's like a collector's thing I want it all the same so these are the chatein which I think is chestnut shorts I love these high-waisted ones now I would just elongate the legs I would just make them into three-quarter length or full length trousers but I do really like the yoke on the um, waistband of these and they are high-waisted so at some point I would like to give these a try then I have the simplicity 86 of Five, four, which is a vintage kind of beach cover-up pattern these probably would be the only type of shorts that I would voluntarily wear as literally a bikini cover-up I think these are absolutely gorgeous I love the tie front shirt and the pleated shorts I think that it would be view C that I would make which is the longer version there do like these do want to make them will I make them I don't know <laughs> But I like having them in my collection and the possibilities are endless for stuff that's in your collection, isn't it? Okay, now on to the trousers. So I actually have made this one and I've done a sew along for this. This is Vogue 9319. And I actually really liked how the trousers turned out. The top was good, but I lengthened it an inch and I needed to add like another good inch, maybe inch and a half to the length of that so that it covered my bra in a way that I was happy with. Again, this is definitely more kind of like a beach cover up than it is a going out, night out pair of trousers. I do like it. I like the yoke on the trousers as well. They're wide leg, they're flared. <sighs> I'm gonna keep this one. I did wear these out a few times and then I put weight on and they were one of the ones that got cold because they weren't perfect. I think if I pick a be better fabric and try this again, I probably will wear this kind of thing because it is right up my alley. Then we've got the Vogue 9320. I haven't tried these ones yet. I really like them. They are high-waisted, pleated, full. I think these could be very, very good for me. I think the only reason I haven't made these ones is because I've made the Vogue 9257, which had a fly front, and that was what I was after at the time. This feels like a very lazy fly front. It doesn't have the fly guard on the inside. I made these up in muslin, then altered the fit around the hips and made them up again in denim, and they were ridiculous. They were utterly ridiculous on me and they never saw the light of day and they got donated and I hope somebody just cut them up and use them for fabric because I mean I, I don't know somebody might have loved them but they would they were too much even for me the first muslin actually fit me quite well and I think now that I've lost some weight I think it would fit me better so I want to give these another try and borrow the fly detail from like the fly guard from another pair of trousers I think there's a better way of doing a, a zip fly but yeah I did like these so I have tried these I will put those away these are the 7370 so in the wardrobe clear out video I tried on a pair of black wide leg trousers and loads of you guys said that they looked awesome they are not meant to dip at the front in a v like that the crotch was that shallow on these I didn't know about and changing crotch lengths and I used to wear these like a hip kind of like length which is not the kind of trousers I like I want my trousers to come to my natural waist and even above because of the kind of outfits that I like to wear so that V at the front of those black trousers is because there is literally no room in the crotch so for everyone that was saying that I should have kept them 
No, they were incredibly uncomfortable and I could only just wriggle in and out of them as it was. So I have kept this pattern, although it has been cut at that size. I would make these again because I do think that they are gorgeous and I do like the collot version as well. So I want to try these again, possibly out of some of these, but the black ones that you guys saw, definite no. Next we've got the McCall's 8118, the Sequoia. It's a paper bag waist pattern. Theoretically, having said what I've just said, that I want things to be on my waist or higher, I should love this. But it's that paper bag waist thing. It's also elasticated. I think I'm gonna pass this one on because I don't think it would be the silhouette for me. This is something that I've, I've been banging on about for ages. I wanna go somewhere where I can try on a whole bunch of different types of trousers and see which silhouettes I actually like on me because obviously as sewists, we don't get to do that. We have to make things up and then decide if they look good on us or not. And the way, you know, uh, flattering or looking good on you is subjective and what everybody feels comfortable in is going to be different and not maybe what I want to wear for my body type might not be what you would put me in but we do, as as so if we don't get to try on that stuff before we've made it we have to put all the hard work and the effort in even to a wearable muslin or just a toile you still have to put in work to get to that point so sometime I would like to go and try on a bunch of different trouser styles and see if there's stuff out there that I particularly like. Next we've got the McCall's 7876. Now I bought this because I saw somebody else had made this up on Instagram and it looked absolutely amazing. I don't like the oversized jacket. I like it on other people but for me no. We have established I think quite clearly that I like to do find the waist. I like fitted things so the jacket is a definite no for me and then the trousers I have other trouser patterns in here that are very similar to the trouser patterns in here so that one's going to go. This one is McCall's 7726 and I think I got this free with a magazine. Again this is a paper bag waist. Now I have made a skirt that's very similar to this in a cotton twill which you saw in my skirt clear out video. The kind of like um, sweet potato butterscotchy colour colour kind of coloured one. I think I would prefer this one because there's no elastic in it. It's all done with pleats and top stitching those down. So I kind of want to try these. And I also like that there's a pegged version as well. Having said all the things that I've just said, I think I like that style on me. So I'm going to keep these ones. This is another one that I think came with a magazine. Seven six six one. And if it didn't come with a magazine, I think I saw it on a magazine and then I was like, oh, I want that. Again, this I can see being quite a good one for me. I think I will like this. And again, I think I would like the pegged kind of trousers as well as the wide leg ones. I would want to make them more pegged than they are on her. So I'm going to keep that one. McCall's 7982. I bought this as a... I, I mentioned it in a Get the Look for Less video as a pattern dupe for a pat bow. And it was for the curved yoke. I really do like the curved yoke but I just don't think these are for me. Oh, my battery's dying. So I'm gonna get rid of this one and give you a new battery. Two sex. That's better, you'll have power. Okay, these next ones are a little bit wild. The 7786, and there is a kind of a matching top that goes with these. I wanna make this roughly version. I think these would be absolutely awesome. They have got an elasticated back, they've got smooth front, they've got slant pockets. The only version I don't like is C, with the kind of gathered extra fullness but I do like the other two versions. I do want to give these a try. I think these would be great summer trousers for me. I think I would enjoy wearing these because these ones I would do in a print and I would make a matching top and then wear it as an outfit. I'm keeping this. Because 7131, I have made plenty of these. I really, really like them. However, the last pair I made was in the Savannah Viscose Linen from, or the Linen Chambray from Lady McElroy. And I don't like them on me on the bottom pattern on the bottom half. So I want to make them again, but I want to make them in a solid fabric that goes with my few tops that I do have and wear in a brighter colour because I've made them in a kind of military green colour, which I like, but again, I've donated. In fact, mum's got those ones. Yes, mum has those. She had to hem them massively. And then the Savannah chambray ones my niece has. I do love these. I want to wear them, make them again. They're very, very comfortable. They're like the summer version of my jogging bottoms. So yes, love these. Keeping this pattern, we'll try them again at some point in an appropriate fabric for 
what I want them to be. This one is definitely from a sewing magazine, Love Sewing. It is the 6178 and loads of people have made this and you, I really like that you can add different amounts of fullness with the pleats that go on for this one. I really really like C and D and A and B. I can imagine that these would work for me so again I'm keeping this pattern and I will give it a try at some point whenever I do try some month. We've got some simplicity patterns now. The 8889, it's a Mimi G. I really like the little shirt on this one as well. The trousers on this are amazing. I really want to try these. I think they would look really good on me and I think I would wear them. Again, I need to pick the right fabric color to actually make these up. I probably will leave off the cargo pockets on the side just because I prefer the more streamlined look but I do like the slant pockets and the button up fly so keeping this want to make these. This is the Simplicity 9146 and I really liked the side panel on these and I actually have some fabric in my visco stash that has got an embroidered detail down it and I wanted to use that down the side of a pair of trousers and someone pointed to me in the direction of this pattern. I don't know if it's actually going to work for me style wise and that fabric I think I'm actually going to turn it into a dress because I think I will get more wear out of it. It's also a cream viscose so from my previous experience making cream or ivory viscose trousers which are basically see-through I think I need to learn from that experience and make a dress out of this fabric and align it to the embroidery point so that I can actually wear it without having to think about different underwear solutions. So I do like these for the side panel and I like the striped version that they've put on here playing with the different grain lines of the fabric. I think that's really cool so I am going to keep this but I'm not sure it's as, as fun as the previous Simplicity one. We're halfway through. <laughs> We've got the Simplicity 8457, the amazing fit one. I really want to try this because half of the work has been done for you. So there's slim, curvy or average fit. I think I would fall into the curvy category, but I actually haven't opened this up to have a look at it. I do think that these would look good on me though. And these are the kind of trousers that I like when I bought trousers. I remember I had a couple of pairs from French Connection. One of them was black wool with white polka dot and they were tiny little polka dots. My best friend had them because they were, at the time it was the like the early 2000s so everything was very low on the hips and that was my only complaint about them was that they didn't sit on my natural waist. They were you know much much lower and I prefer things to sit on my natural waist especially with trousers because I like to tuck my tops in to highlight my waist and it, it didn't work that way so my best friend ended up having those and I remember I've been hunting for wool to replace those trousers I don't have any pictures of me in them but they were really wide-legged they were beautiful they were fully lined and I bought them in black as well because I did the thing that's like oh I like this I'm gonna buy it in all the colors that are available so I have had and worn trousers in the past yeah these are these are the sort of thing that I think would really work for me so I'm keeping those these ones I love it's another Mimi G 8750 I think these are for a knit fabric yes they are so I really want to try these I think they look amazing I love the trim down the front of the gray ones I think that's awesome and I want to do something very similar to that except not in gray because gray is one of the colors that I find very difficult to wear and I have an entire bag full of gray clothing that I've made over the years that I just don't ever reach for I put it on and I take it off again so it's all going to my best friend who is a winter so she looks great in gray so I am going to send all of that stuff to her but I would like to try and make something like that for myself in colors that work for me so I'm keeping that one simplicity vintage 1940s 8243 again I really like the look of these trousers they are a little narrower on the leg than perhaps some of the other ones that I've shown you and I'm not sure how I would feel about that again it might be one of those ones where it's just like it looks great on other people not for me but yeah I'm gonna keep this and I do really like the shirt as well so I can imagine giving the shirt a try at some point as well next we've got simplicity 4192 and new look 6565 which are kind of basically the same pattern. You you just don't get the t-shirt or the bikini top pattern in this one. But this is out of print, so this was one of the newer ones that was available. There's another Simplicity New Look 
pattern that's the similar kind of trousers, the wraparound trousers. I've made three pairs of these. I absolutely love them. They are the trousers that I reach for most often in the summer months because they are just so light and breezy and easy to wear. I am keeping both of these patterns and I will make these again. Next we have the Heron Collots by Afternoon Patterns which was part of my th sewing, uh, KB sewing pattern swap. I really really like these. I really really need to try and make these because I think they are awesome and they were like I say part of the swap so at some point I will give these a try. <sighs> So over at Ultimate Trousers. Now I held off buying these for the longest time. It's another one of those ones where I love Sew Over It patterns and at one point I was like I need them all and I need this packaging and obviously they've changed the kind of like aesthetic of the shop and the packaging now. I wasn't going to buy this and then Rachel made up a couple of pairs and they looked amazing and I was just like I need those. Uh, I, I, I need those. So here is the pattern. Have I made them? No, I have not. But will I make them? Yes, yes, I will, because I want to give them a try, and I think they're awesome. And I do have a Butterick pattern, the little kind of cropped tie front shirt that I made up in the grey dress in the chestnut fra fabric. The grey dress video in the chestnut fabric. The That pattern comes with trousers, pedal pushers that are very similar to this as well. So I do have a couple of pairs of trouser patterns that are like that, like cropped pedal pusher kind of like 50s style trousers so at some point I would like to give those a go. Then I have got the Megan Nielsen flint trousers again these are awesome completely something that I really should give a try I have loved every version that I've seen on other people. Have I made them yet? No I know I have not the um the, the they're still stuck down at the top. Will I make them? Yes yes I will. When I make them I'm going to do them with the button for fly and I would put buttons both sides to equal even things out. I have a thing about asymmetry. I mean I know I'm wearing like a crossover asymmetrical top now of my beach pajamas but if I can make them symmetrical from the front it just make me happier so I will. Next we have the Megan Nielsen Tanya Collots. I have made these. I have made the original version. I bought the original version and um then new packaging got released and these to be fair to me wasn't just new packaging these did actually get updated as well because the originals were only the very short version because of the type of pattern paper she could print on and she had available so these ones have been narrowed so that they're not just like giant for the longer versions i really liked the ones that i've made but I made the shorter version and I just don't enjoy wearing short dresses or jumpsuits or rompers as this one because I'd, I'd added by hand London and I, you, if you could go back and have a look I think I've got it in this video. I do like these, I want to make these, this is sort of the sort of thing that I can imagine myself wearing because I, th I think with the trousers it's like I don't like feeling restricted <laughs> having said I like the pegged trousers. <laughs> I think it's like I, I don't I'm, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's just because I've never put on or haven't put on some well-fitting trousers for a very long time that I'm just like, oh no, floaty dresses all the way. Next, Deer and Doe Narcisse. Again, these are gorgeous. I have seen many people make these up. It's another one where I want to collect them all. I am very pleased that I have these and I will give these a try because I do very much like how these look on other people. I think they will work for me. The Palisade Pants by Paper Cut Patterns. I asked for this for a pattern swap with Melanie. I need to make these because they are pretty epic, but I need to make these in a fabric that will work for me because of the type of trousers they are, they've got elasticated waist, really interesting pockets. I think I need to make these in a kind of like ponty or a jogging bottom fabric because that would be in my head the way that I would wear these. So I do want to give these a try. I think they're awesome. Thank you very much to Melanie for sending them to me as part of my pattern swap. I have looked at the instructions. I have opened them. The, the sticker has been ripped. I will get there eventually. I've just got so many. I'm getting overwhelmed already. And now we're into my fancy Vogue patterns, like the larger Vogue envelopes is what I'm talking about. So the first one is the Paco Peralta. It's a trench coat pattern with trouser pattern. When I looked at this one I wasn't overly inspired but then I looked at the line drawing and I really really liked the line drawing for these. I pr probably will never make the trench coat. I have other trench coat patterns that I prefer. This one's really simple. It's beautiful but it's very very simple so I think I will stick to my other trench coat patterns but I do really like the trousers from this one so I can imagine making those. 
the Claire Schaefer Custom Couture Collection Vogue. Oh, sorry, this was the 1619, by the way. I will have put it up on screen. This is the Vogue 1702. It's got like a skirt that goes over it. The instructions on this are brilliant. They are really couture. It's like French seeming and it's really detailed instructions on this pattern. I have, I do read my patterns mostly. I can imagine making these and floating around in these and absolutely loving it. So yes, saw that, bought that. I know Rachel was thinking about making these as well. I don't think she ever got around to it, but <laughs> maybe we should challenge each other, Rachel, to actually make up these Vogue trousers and see how we get on. We've got Rachel Comey pattern, Vogue 1729. Again, I liked these because they were pegged and they are pegged in an interesting way. The fabric's not just tapered in it's actually corralled in at the ankle i want to give these a try i think these are awesome yeah i do very much like those then we've got vogue 1704 now these ones i bought because i was trying to pattern uh, fill up my basket so i could get the free shipping so i was kind of intrigued by these but they weren't like oh my god i must have them it was the top as well i like both of these i think this is one of those ones where it was just like I could do that. It's very Isabelle Moran, and I have worked out I'm a not an Isabelle Moran kind of girl. Do I keep these? They are really nice trousers. Yes, I'm going to keep those, but they might not survive another cull if I go through my patterns again in another five years. <laughs> Next, we've got Vogue 1685. I absolutely love these. I think they are gorgeous, and I can imagine they're kind of like those sort of secret hidden trousers. I know they're not exactly like that, but they're like the modern day version of it. So I can imagine making these and loving these. So I want to give those a try. These next ones, it's another Rachel Cromie. The uh, sample on the envelope. This is uh, 1688. The sample on the envelope is not great. I don't know if it's just me being really super pit picky and critical but I don't think that sample looks overly brilliantly sewn it, it, it might just be the fabric and just the way it's pressed and I don't know it just it looks a bit messy but when you actually have a look at the line drawings I think they look really really interesting because of the paneling in them so that's why I bought this one because I thought it could be quite an interesting make. Whether I will actually make these, whether I will like these or not, I don't know. Kind of reminds me of the Simplicity Mima G trousers that I showed you. Yeah, I'm, I'm not I'm not sure about these ones, but I'm not giving them up just yet. I've only given up four so far. And this is the last pattern, the Vogue 1 at 772. Again, another pair of super wide leg trousers, which you can either have collot length or full length. I think, again, they are lovely. They are very me. They are something that I can imagine myself wearing. Why have I not made them yet? Because I just don't reach for trousers, that's why. I'm not like overly enthused to make trousers because I don't reach for trousers frequently enough that I'm like, ooh, I must have another pair. But I do enjoy some of the aesthetics that I see. Like I, I pin a lot of things on Pinterest and I'm just like, ooh, that would look good, that would look good. I love that outfit and a lot of them are trouser based. A lot of the pirate core, pirate core stuff that I've been pinning as well has been very kind of like pegged legged trousers and, oh, <laughs> Yeah, that's just occurred to me as well. Skinny jeans and leggings and that kind of stuff with very big blousy things over the top, which again, I really enjoy that aesthetic. I also very much like Rachel Jensen. I think I have that name right on Instagram. Her aesthetic is absolutely gorgeous. It's super mask tailoring or very ultra feminine 1950s kind of dresses and things like that. And I love both sides. I, at the moment, have well i don't have the pencil skirts but i do have like the kind of more girly side of things but i really do enjoy the tailoring side of things i've got a lot of suiting back here it's right behind me here i've got some red uh, red suiting that i want to make the lucille trousers and the dandy waistcoat from gertie i've got some navy paul smith suiting that's going to go in with the anaconda antithesis collection i've got some black suiting back here which i'm debating whether i keep or give to mum because i like the idea of it but i just don't reach for any of my black clothes and i've kind of given them all away. I've also got some puppy tooth cashmere suiting back here as well and I really 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 want to make a awesome set of these kind of like 
maybe even Oxford bags, you know. For, for me, high-waisted, very fitted at the waist, wide leg tailored trousers with the waistcoat, possibly a jacket over the top, then my kind of like giant pirate sleeve shirts, the big collars, 70s collar. I, th I can envision myself wearing that kind of outfit. To me, it would be very, very dressy, dressier than some of the dresses that I wear, which probably other people would think were very dressy. But I can really still see myself making those kind of outfits and really enjoying wearing them so that's why i've got so much suiting and so much trouser fabric in my stash because in my head i have all of these things going on and i'm just like yes yes this will look amazing do i get around to making them no no i do not do i need to change that yes yes i do and again projects that scare me this year trousers is one of them i'm going to be doing my basic trouser block by susie ferrer i'm going to be hopefully using that to then modify some of these patterns so that they will fit me well i have a bunch of pdf patterns the few that i can remember off the top of my head i've got this ralph pink pair of trousers which i absolutely love and think look gorgeous i have the pauline alice sorrel trousers i have the amy nicole nita trousers which is what i want to use the dupioni silk and and make my silk three-piece dolce and gabbana inspired suit out of with the embroidered jacket a la bianca so i have all these grand ideas for trousers and i think what i need to do is just as i say bite the bullet project that scares me there is going to be a month of them it's not going to be till the weather starts to cool down <laughs> next month is going to be gertie month and the month after that i'm not sure maybe trouser month then because by the time i finish making them the be at the end of august so coming into september which could be an appropriate time for trousers maybe Sept maybe august maybe september will be trouser month but i i think i just need to try and make some of these things and see what a pair of well-made well-fitted properly high-waisted for me skinny jeans feels like because i might wear them more often especially if i can put the longer fly in so that i can get them over my hips that was all oh, the lander pants i have those as well i have a lot of trouser patterns oh so many and i do need to pull my finger out and make some of these things so yeah there's definitely a rachel rachel and me kind of challenge in there with those um couture uh rachel cope no um Claire, Schiff, Claire Schaefer couture trousers with skirt over the top. I think maybe challenging myself in a couple of different and new, unique ways might actually get me out of my comfort zone and get me trying some of these things and see how I get on and whether they get made or not because in my head they look fabulous. In reality I haven't perfected them yet so uh, stay tuned because that could happen. <laughs> Let me know in the comments section down below if you've made any of these patterns up and what you thought of them and if there are any that you think I really ought to put at the beginning or the top of my to make list. I would be really interested to hear what you guys think. If you've enjoyed this video you might want to check out my other pattern collection video here.